All right, so hi there. So uh, if you're like me and you have a laptop that runs really hot or makes a lot of loud noise, the fan makes a lot of noise when you're doing something intensive on it, then you should really consider doing undervolting. Undervolting is basically limiting the amount of power that's being supplied to your CPU without sacrificing any performance. So I have an Intel i7 7700HQ processor on an Asus laptop and I did undervolting on it. So I'm basically just gonna walk you through the process of how I did it. So I used Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility, which is a, a computer program you can download from the internet. And when you download and install it, once you've done that and open it up, this is what it looks like. So it would start with this screen, welcome to Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. So you can see here to the left, it's where you have all the controls. So what you want to do first is you want to benchmark your computer. And you will also benchmark it again after you've undervolted it, just to compare the two scores to see what the differences are. So what you would do is click on, go to the left, click on the benchmark tab and click on run benchmark. And then it would run it and you would take note of the score of the maximum processor frequency of the CPU temperature. These are important factors to note down. I've already done that, so I'm going to stop it, but you go ahead and do that. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to run a, t a stress test. And the stress test, you want to run it on the CPU, a CPU stress test. And you can run it for, let's say, 5 minutes or, or 10 minutes. And what you want to look for is you want to look at, at which temperatures. So down here at the bottom, you have a graph, and you can look at the graph. Right, so during the stress test, these, the numbers on the, on the graph will consistently change. So while you're running the stress test, you want to look at, at which package temperatures do, does your computer start to thermal throttle. You have over here to the right, the thermal throttling. So normally if it starts thermal throttling, you would just see a yes appear there. And um, you, want to, you, want to, you want to look at, at which temperatures it starts thermal throttling, which means it starts limiting performance. If not, it's, it's going to overheat. And um, you want to take note of that as well. Right, so how do you undervolt? It's, it's, you have to go here to the left on the tab again. You want to click on the core tab, right? And once you're on the core tab, you look for the core voltage offset. So this is the value that you have to change. And this value, you can change it here where the mouse is, follow the cursor. So what you want to do is you want to decrease it by value, values of either 0 0.005 or 0 0.010. So what you would do is decrease the value and then you go to the right and where it says apply and click apply and then it's okay now you go to the stress test because now you've changed the, the voltage so you want to go to the stress test and you want to run a, a 10 minute stress test on the cpu just to see if, it, if it's going to run perfectly and balance at that new voltage that you've just set so you click start test and it would run and if it works perfectly it would say test passed so i'll stop it now and once it says test pass you go back to the core tab and you repeat the same process you decrease it by uh, point zero zero negative point zero zero five or negative point zero one zero and then you click apply again all right and you go to the stress test tab cpu stress set stress test 10 minutes <laughs> and start test and if it runs and it passes, then it's good. You keep, you repeat this process and you keep repeating this process until you hit a voltage whereby the program shuts down or your computer shuts down and, re and, and resets itself. In the sense that you, if you hit a, a certain voltage that where it cannot function anymore, the program will automatically reset the core voltage offset to zero. zero. So if it, if it, let's say you, you were at negative 055 and the program shut down or the computer shut down, it, so you, it would automatically reset this value back to zero and then you boot back up and everything would be normal again. And then you would know that at this value, it's the, the limit, it's the breaking point. So you would know that at any voltage below this value, so you can say, you can say maybe at 0 0.050, 
it, it's, it's the perfect on the vault for you. So you would then, instead of setting it again at the value where it shut down, you would set it at a, at a value below that, and then you would run a stress test. So, and if it doesn't shut down during that stress test, then you know it's okay. Now, once you've found that sweet spot, what you want to do is run another stress test, but run a much longer stress test to run one for one hour or more, or use other stress testing software to, to stress test it for a longer period, just to make sure that the system is really stable. So just to repeat that again, what you want to do is to under vault, you go to the core, you, you, you decrease this by values of either negative uh, 0, 0, 005 or negative 010, zero, zero. and you apply here to the right, and you go and you do the stress test, and if it passes, you repeat the same process until the program or your PC shuts down, and if once that happens, it's going to reset that core, core offset value to zero, and then you know that at that level, it's a breaking point, and that you, the sweet spot is any number below that breaking point. Perfect. So I'm going to show you what happened when I did my undervolt. I was able to achieve an undervolt of um, negative 1.20, actually. And I'll show you some charts. So here you can see before I did my undervolt, my PC on idle had temperatures of about 46, 47 degrees Celsius. And once I, after the undervolt, I had on idle 42 to 43 degrees Celsius, which is a big improvement. During my benchmark test, I had 85 degrees Celsius. After, I had 76 degrees Celsius, which is really good. And the CPU test is as well before undervolting 79 to 83. At 79 to 83, you would see thermal throttling. After the undervolting, uh, the maximum temperatures I got was 69 to 70 and no thermal throttling at all. So you can see I, I had a temperature decrease of about 9 degrees Celsius on the benchmark and 10 degrees Celsius or more on the CPU test, which are significant improvements and they're really noticeable. It runs much, not so loud and much, much uh, better. I uh, have a much, much better experience. So I'll show you some charts here. So this is before I did thermal throttling, right? So you can see here the, the temperatures are much higher right and after I after the thermal throttling right I have the much smaller temperatures right at the 60 76 sorry so going back to the chart again yeah I had on the benchmark I had a 85 degrees Celsius which decreased to 76 degrees Celsius anyway I hope this video helps and uh, wish you good luck with this and let me know if I miss anything or any, any th other questions you have or anything that you'd be interested to see videos about. I'll do my undervolt my GTX 1050 Ti next. So subscribe, drop a comment, like, and let me know if you want to see that video. Thanks for your time and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.